In a unanimous ruling from the Supreme Court, an Oregon man's lawsuit will continue against the FBI. The no-fly list established after 9-11 to combat terrorism has long been criticized for its lack of transparency and alleged discriminatory practices. Jonas Fikre, a Muslim U.S. citizen, alleges he was added to the no-fly list in 2010 as retaliation for refusing to cooperate as an informant on fellow mosque attendees in Portland, Oregon. After refusing to become an FBI informant, Fikre says he flew to the United Arab Emirates, where he claims he was arrested, tortured, and interrogated at the direction of the FBI. Fikre says he was stuck overseas for years and eventually made it back to the United States by a private jet in 2015. After years on the list, the FBI removed Fikre in 2016 without explanation. The FBI claims that Fikre's removal from the list makes the case irrelevant, arguing that his civil suit alleging reputational harm and due process violations was now moot. Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch emphasized the government's actions fell short of demonstrating they couldn't repeat past mistakes in the future. And Justice Samuel Alito clarified that the FBI doesn't have to disclose classified information, citing airline safety and counterterrorism efforts. Fikri's case will now proceed in the lower courts, where his allegations will be thoroughly examined.